everyone welcome to moonlight awakening i'm definitely going a lot within a lot a lot of going within myself and and yeah and actually i'm here temporarily actually my sister called me a few days ago uh my sister called me a few days ago asking hey um we're now i'm um, going to would you like to stay in this place for a month? I won't even be here. Um, if, it, you're, if you're interested, you, know, you can take it, you know, before I move somewhere else. I was like, you know what? I'll take it. So I've been staying here by myself. And, and yeah, my sister just decided just to um, drop me, drop, like, we went after celebrating my mom's birthday uh, we we went grocery shopping real quick, and then she dropped me off. I gathered some of, I took my stuff that I was um, with my friend. I brought it here. So my sister dropped. We dropped off the groceries. She helped me drop off my stuff, and then boom, she left, and I'm here all by myself. So. <laughs> So yeah, that's so I'm definitely going a lot within. Uh, I'm definitely <laughs> so yeah. I'm all by myself here, and and the only strange thing I'm not used to. <laughs> it feels strange because the only breath I hear is myself, and that's very strange because I'm used to having other people around, and now it's just me. Well, physically. Physically, I only hear my own breath. I know my angels are around me and so on and so forth. I'm saying physically, I only hear myself. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, this is my little other update. And here is where I'm making on this dining table. This is where I've been um, creating all those extra jewelry right here. So yeah, I <laughs> I need a lot of I need a lot of room. The kitchen. Yeah, so I'm like, you know what? Like spirit, like things will be fulfilled in unexpected ways. And I got this place all by myself for a month. And I've never been completely off my own like myself myself. And this is like the first time ever. So, um, oh, and, and in this room, I'll be doing the new videos in this room. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've been seeing that preview. And I've been setting up, I put my, my Shri Yantra, my Shri Yantra, my decks. Spirit took me here, like, to not really going within, because it's easy to get distracted. You know, when you're living or staying with other people, it's easy to get distracted. Spirit has also is teaching me to love myself, to feel compassion with myself. I'm really like I'm doing a lot of heart healing, a lot of heart healing, and and to really dig inside my heart. And then I got this beautiful. Um, card message with the raven. Ecopios is the seer, the visionary. It, what is the meaning of this, of of signs, of symbols that you see? And definitely, I've been seeing signs and symbols since I got here. So I'm definitely gonna do um, high healing dancing. Um, so you're gonna see here. Uh, but yeah, time to go to sleep. I saged this place before I the first day I came in. 
I say that, yes. And I don't, I'm gonna go from there. Once I get up, um, I, I will do my meditation in the morning, my mantras, my uh, my prayers, and then once I'm done all of that, then I start working. Then I'll start doing some light language writing for today. And then once I done, once I do that, then I post it on my you know social media. So you guys, so if you guys did follow me, you guys know what I'm talking about. So. Let's start some light language. So now I'm just having some breakfast. Um, yummy melon. <laughs> and some tea. Here's my breakfast for today or oh, right now. Um, by living like 
staying here and I'm here the only one hearing is myself hearing my only thoughts hearing my only my own voice um I expected this to happen I really really did and even in my dreams my higher self has been showing me even my insecurities too um showing my fears um feeling all this because you know when you're unplugging you're detaching yourself um you feel like you can't you don't believe in yourself that you you could do it you know and you get scared that what if i fall you know what if i don't i can't do this right stuff like that <clears throat> so i'm really touching myself from codependency and a lot of you know um be feeling that loss you know when you're detaching yourself you feel you know you feel like a loss you know um but it's not really a loss well you're digging deep within yourself and that's what's been happening to me since i hey <laughs> i was offered this place and i'm very grateful and thankful spirit thank you wow i didn't i did not expect this so yeah, it's been doing a lot of crazy movement, a lot of move, moving around, around everywhere. So <clears throat> obviously right now it's like, I'm trying to adjust to this new journey. <clears throat> but, um. When it, when it, whatever the type of loss, you feel kind of sad in a way. So I've been also, you know, self-doubt thoughts been coming up, sadness been coming up. And it's, you know, it's good to know what emotions are coming up energetically. So that way you could deprogram yourself and, um, all these things. So that's what I've been doing. Um, definitely going within, um, yeah so i'm here to show you what's you know because a lot of um so yeah for today um I, i'm just going through i i don't really plan anything it's not good to plan well you have ideas but But in meditation, I did try to dig deep within myself. In meditation, feeling my emotions. And see what I need to do program, what kind of things are running in my program. Because we're like a computer system. But I know I'm not alone. My fairies are always here. Um... my angels my guides my higher self i know goddess segment has also been working with me um not just open up my healing uh, abilities what i can do but also holding space for me especially during this time um of you know when you're detaching yourself certain things you know unplugging yourself that doesn't serve you anymore um she's been i know she's been holding space for me goddess shekmet um and it's interesting too because you know i i i, I know deep in my soul i used to i used to um one of my lifetimes i was in egypt oh speaking of egypt i got this ankh just to connect to my Egyptian roots. And so I'm just trying to finish up here. And then we're going to film a video in my new video setup. But no, this is not it. Is this the video setup? No. It's in a different room. It took me a while to figure it out. But we'll see. 
I might change it up. Who knows? <laughs>